Hello, welcome, thanks for joining me. As you know, my plans are to carve slate coasters using a V-bit, but rather than plunge straight in, pardon the pun, I'm using a cheaper cardboardy type coaster with a white melamine type top as a test piece. Now, Easel Software has at present four free days a month to carve. So taking advantage of this, I've set my router up, CNC Arduino controlled router, and I purchased a 60 degree V-bit. Now you can't use V-bits on the free version of easel but I just thought I'd give it a try using a default setting of an eight straight cut bit and just see what happens the coaster being soft I didn't think it was going to damage the bit and it would certainly prove the positioning and the actuation of the whole CNC. Here you see me jogging the Z axis down so the bit touches the surface of the coaster. Now bear in mind this is a first run the last thing you want to do is to smash into any guards or clamps. So you take it steady. Easel is brilliant at allowing you, like other programs of course, Easel's brilliant at allowing you to jog the X, Y and Z coordinates so that your router bit is positioned at the front left hand corner of the work and then from there any drawing you've placed into easel will be carved out according to the parameters you've set i.e material, thickness, type of bit, speeds and feeds, but we don't know speeds and feeds as a first cut, so go with the default settings and see what happens. Each of the parameters for jogging the various axes can be set so that the stepper motors move a small amount, a larger amount and a large amount. So you jog it carefully to the point you want and then you set that home point which is zero, zero so that's all of the coordinates set in easel with the v-bit at the bottom left hand corner of the workspace 
I'm just doing a quick measure of the coaster and it is as I guessed 4 inches square which is typical for a coaster so that's going to work out ok now the router has to be manually switched on but you only do that when needed I'll be turning down the audio for the router because it's too much to expect you to listen to that noise so following the prompts on the easel screen the router's now turned on and I'm ready to carve the up the butter sign <laughs> You can cancel any carving, you can preview it so you know what sort of time scale you're looking at. Let's go. Saying again, this is a V-carved bit, but I chose the eighth standard router bit, straight cut, so who knows how it's going to turn out or what it's going to look like. The font's uh, a new one as well, so I picked something that had serifs just to see what the effect was. And the routers moving through the various XYZ coordinates, moving up and down, left and right, in and out to follow the GRBL language that's been sent to the Arduino which is controlling the router X, Y and Z coordinates. All of this is very straightforward with an easel. The only thing I have to master I think is calibrating the X, Y and Z. I'm not quite sure whether an inch on the screen is an inch in real life for each axis and that will become more important as I get into more longer in-depth and more accurate projects. But as long as it stays within the confines of the coaster, as per design, that'll do for now. We can fine tune the looks of it as we go along. Now this is my first time of viewing it, so you're getting a similar look at the movement of the CNC machine as I am. Things I'm looking out for are flex of the unit, whether it's accurate, in other words whether the... there we are, it's finished. Proof of the pudding is in the viewing. So let's have a look and see what we have got. I'll move the piece out of the quick release clamp vise 
shown in a former video and show you the product now it's still got a protective coating on as these coasters do have when they arrive as I say it's it's a sort of mica top and a cork or cardboardy type finish below it but we'll see what there's nothing like a first look at it to form an opinion this one's for Mark up the bottom mate <laughs> so there's our font with serifs on cut with a V bit but not the V bit part of easel UTB and when I take the protective coat enough we'll see whether it's usable at all thanks for watching join me again soon for more CNC projects That's the design within easel on a piece of cedar. And this is the finished product. Thanks for watching.